Coinbase started as a Bitcoin exchange, but has grown into one of the most established names in crypto. Beyond the exchange, it has also built its own layer two network on Ethereum and now a new dedicated app. The base app is a rebrand of the Coinbase wallet app designed to be an everything app that blends social media, mini apps, chat and trading. So let's dive in to see what it has to offer. Now, a quick disclaimer, we're gonna explore the beta version of the base app, which has a wait list for access. Since getting access might take a while, you can take a sneak peek at what it has to offer. And if you're antsy, they're also occasionally offering access through their X account. So definitely keep an eye out on their account. Okay, a quick look at the website shows how Coinbase wants to build the everything app. The app lets users buy, sell, and trade tokens, store digital assets, and earn yields on USDC. Payments are built directly into the interface with plans to expand through base pay, a tap to pay system for USDC transactions supported by Shopify. And then they also have social features like posting, tipping and messaging. And with that, they aim to take it beyond just a crypto wallet. It also includes mini apps for games, DeFi tools and more. So we'll first go through the simplified version of the base app. If you've downloaded the Coinbase wallet before, you'll be able to see all of this in that app right away. Okay, when you open the app, you'll see two options, either create a new wallet or sign in with an existing one. So creating a new wallet uses a passkey system, which can be saved on your device, managed externally or stored through a password manager. So choose whichever works best for you and your new wallet will be ready in seconds. If you already have a wallet though, you can sign in using your passkey or your 12 word recovery phrase. And as always, of course, never share your recovery phrase with anyone. Now that you have your wallet ready to go, it's time to fund it. So at the bottom of the screen, tap the transfer button. That's the one with the two arrows and hit receive. Here you can copy your address on other networks, receive crypto from a US bank or buy directly with your preferred payment method. Your Tron address only supports USDT, which is automatically converted to USDC on base. If you're sending USD from a bank account, it's converted to USDC for free. You can also buy crypto with your credit card or Apple Pay. Okay, so let's dig a little deeper into the app. On the homepage, you can create a watch list of your favorite coins. You can see trending swap, or follow what's popular on chain and browse NFTs available for minting. The explore tab is where things get more interesting. This is where you'll find all the mini apps from swapping and earning to bridging and social tools. Okay, then there is the swap tool which combines token swaps with cross network bridging. So you can move assets between chains in just one step. Choose your token and select which token and network you want to receive, such as Ethereum, Base, or Optimism. The Base network currently offers the widest selection of tokens. Sending tokens is also pretty straightforward. Head over to transfer, choose your asset, input the amount, then hit send to choose your recipient. You can either send to your other addresses, paste a wallet address, scan a QR code, or enter an ENS or Coinbase ID. So review the transaction and then confirm it. Sending USDC will give you a few more options like phone number, email address, and shareable link. You can also view your NFT collection in the wallet tab. If you'd like to mint new ones, you can open NFT marketplaces like OpenSea as mini apps, and these connect directly to your base account for seamless interaction. Okay, so how does the beta version compare? Well, your main wallet will be connected to your new social account, and you'll need to claim your base name and set a display name. You can also toggle the beta version on and off, and the homepage is still easy to navigate with the mini apps sorted into different categories for you to simply choose from. Next to the homepage is where you'll find the social feed. This will show you posts and videos that you can interact with by commenting, liking, or sharing. Select the pencil icon to start creating your own post and choose whether others can buy it. 
Either way, you will earn creator rewards. To trade, you can browse through trending tokens, creators, and even posts. You can also set up your transaction like normal or use the QR code function to receive or send crypto. Now, we did have some trouble with our trades and we kept getting error messages. So it's probably still better to do your token trades on the Simple Base app. Aside from interacting with posts, you can also message others by tapping the message icon. You'll be able to chat with the integrated AI agents like Banker, check for chat requests, or start a new chat by filling in their username. Okay, let's head back to the simplified version to look at how we can earn rewards. According to the Base app website, users can earn up to 4.1% APY on USCC balances, though this is limited to US users who link a Coinbase account. For users outside the US, staking within the app is available for ETH on Ethereum, offering around 2.47% APR. You can also explore DeFi or yield opportunities through the available mini apps. Now, one feature we noticed was missing is quests. Previously available in the Coinbase wallet, quests would reward users for exploring apps and completing tasks, it's unclear if this will be featured in the Base app. So it seems that Base is positioning itself against other wallets like MetaMask and Phantom, but with the added twist of becoming an all-in-one app for trading, socializing, and exploring the crypto ecosystem. Visually, the Base app feels clean, minimal, Navigation is pretty straightforward with a consistent layout and clear icons, and you can even customize the theme color. But there are currently only six options for the simplified version. The beta version has more options, or you can even choose to customize your own theme. Now, performance-wise, it is generally smooth, though we did encounter the occasional freeze, but with a quick restart that was fixed pretty easily. So then how about the fees? Well, sending USDC on-chain is free, but standard fees apply to all other transactions. These are made up of a Coinbase service fee, a protocol fee and a network fee. But this is for the simplified app. We weren't able to successfully make a trade in the beta version during our testing period, so we can't accurately give feedback on the fees there. So the base app gives the impression of being built for usability. It simplifies common actions like swapping and bridging while keeping all your assets accessible in one place. So while Base presents itself as an open, decentralized ecosystem, Coinbase's regulatory requirements still shape what the platform can offer. Third-party developers will also play a key role in expanding its tools and integrations. The Base app is just one part of the broader Base plan, which includes Base Chain, Base App, and Base Build. And it will be worth watching how these pieces evolve and and connect over time. So that was a quick look at Coinbase's new base app and what it currently offers in beta. It's a big step toward combining a wallet, social network, and DeFi hub into one unified platform. But the question now is whether Coinbase can make it simple enough to onboard users at scale. So if you enjoyed this peek into the highly anticipated base app, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to stay updated on all things crypto. Bye.